Would you like to get to Madrid, Spain from North America without burning more than 70 liters of fuel? Well, if you're like Greta Thunberg and have access to a half a million euro catamaran, it's easy as pie. This is the catamaran that Greta Thunberg will be fleeing North America in on her way to Madrid, Spain to speak at the COP25 summit that was originally going to be held in Chile. You're watching The Counter Signal. Greta Thunberg has been in North America for nearly 11 weeks now, and in that time, she has been doing everything from election interference in Alberta and Montreal to cozying up with jet setters like Leonardo DiCaprio, who own yachts and planes and everything in between. Greta Thunberg has come here with the message that we need to abstain from carbon, although she's remained quite tight-lipped on China and India, the world's largest polluters. For some reason, she just wants Canada to turn off our taps and nobody else. I met with Greta Thunberg in New York City when she arrived, and I wanted to ask her a few questions about what her plans were and what her intentions were. I wasn't able to get a question in there, but I was able to catch up with her in our shared hotel, actually, in Edmonton, Alberta. She was in the business center, and I was getting some Cheerios, and I asked her a few questions as they packed up to go to a more private room. Now I want you to take note of the people in that room. There was four people. One was Greta Thunberg's father, one was Greta herself, one was a BBC producer slash activist, and another was an unidentified female who wanted to call the police on me later for asking too many tough questions of Greta. Now because she originally came to North America to go to the COP25 summit in Chile, which was moved to Spain, she had to find a way to get back across the Atlantic Ocean. And in that conversation, in that business center, in that hotel in Edmonton, she committed to me personally to not taking a plane back. Now actually she's going to be taking a half a million euro catamaran across the Atlantic back to Spain. It's a luxurious catamaran, take a look at this. There's three beds in it, and all three of those beds are filled up with a family, uh, a third woman, and Greta herself. Those other three in the hotel room, well, they're going to have to get a transatlantic plane ticket. Nobody knows much about the people behind her, but we do know that they will be getting a plane ticket because there's no other way to get across the Atlantic Ocean in time for the COP25 summit. So I want to thank the protesters in Chile personally for saving us from nearly a year of St. Greta telling us that we need to change how we live our lives while ignoring China and India and every other major polluter in Asia and Europe and Africa. I'll be going to COP25 with my colleague Sheila Gunn-Reed. We're going to be there in person to ask Greta, her crew and everyone else going to the UN some tough questions. And I want to thank Greta for being my carbon offset because I will be taking a plane there. For Rebel News, I'm Kean Bexie. Thanks so much for watching our coverage here at Rebel News. Be sure to like and subscribe to us, but also click that notification bell right next to the subscriber button because subscriptions don't mean all that much here on YouTube anymore. And I want to make sure you stay up to date with everything as it happens.